from the RX Muscle Studios, this is the Heavy Muscle Show with your host, Dave Palumbo, featuring Jimmy Pelleccia, Jeremy the Casting Director, Pete the Intern, Magnus the Magnificent, and holding it down in the background, Jeff the Producer. This is the Heavy Muscle Show. Uh, welcome back from break. Uh, you know, I, Jimmy, I was the other, just the other day. I was thinking about something I hadn't think about, uh, thought about in a long time. When I was a kid, and I'm sure you probably were like this too. When we were, when you'd wake up early on Saturday mornings, you'd watch cartoons. Did you do that? Um, uh, I was hooked on. I don't know if you remember this. Uh, I was hooked on uh, uh, Kung Fu, David Carradine. Well, you know, the, it's funny that you say Kung Fu, and we didn't have this conversation, but I used to watch this cartoon. I was completely obsessed with it called Hong Kong Fui. You remember that? Anyone remember that? Hong Kong Fui? No, George, George, George of the Jungle. Put it, can, you, can, you, can you find Hong Kong Fui there, uh, Jeff? Yeah, I have it here, but it has constipation. Wow. Remember that? You, how do you remember? You're young. Give him, give him a microphone there. Cartoon plan. Oh, you still? They have they have it on reruns. Yeah, I loved Hong Kong Samurai Fui. Jack. And then he hit, the, he hit the, the, the gong. The gong. Yeah. yeah, he was like this dog. He would hit this gong. He would turn into Hong Kong. And Fui. then he would jump really? into the file cabinet oh, yeah, and turn out yeah. as Hong Kong you Fui. Remember that and I did. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, you probably fantasize about. It. Yeah, yeah, I like Hong Kong Fui's <laughs> cock in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Maybe in your ass. Who knows? You know, hey, look, you, it's it's, you know, it's acceptable, man. Talking about dating stuff. 2012. Talking about dating stuff. Um, I, fa- I I was reading an excerpt from the Linda Hogan book. Linda Hogan, who's married to Hulk Hogan. Okay. She wrote a book. Did they get divorced? They divorced. She wrote a book, and evidently, back in the early 90s, I don't know if you guys realize, that Hulk Hogan was having an affair with Corey Everson. Really? Right after she broke up and, and divorced Jeff Everson. Wow. Really? Uh, I, I don't think it, it was like three or four years. Now, if you remember, she did a spread in Playboy. She didn't take her old clothes off. She had like like a skimpy outfit on, yeah. but she was wearing Hulk Hogan outfit. Like I always wondered why she had the, the Hulkamania fucking shirt on, no, and she, had she the, was thinking about Hulk. Yeah, because well, she was dating him. I didn't know this. Right, right, right. See, well, she had an awesome body, Corey. Right, right. Day, yeah. But once again, going back, people who are celebrities, it's easier to hook ups. You know, it's easier to meet people. Uh, it, the people kind of come to you. Now, Jeff, yeah. I want to go to you. I want to find out exactly what you've been doing. Jeff Magic. Uh, Jeff Magic. That is. Give him the microphone there. You've been working with Pete the intern a little bit and giving him some of your, quote, magic. And I understand that you guys had a uh, something called speed dating mm-hmm. he went to the other day. And he was telling me a little bit about it. Explain what speed dating is because a lot of our listeners don't know anything about it. Sure. Uh, speed dating is basically where there's about uh, 10 men and women and the women stay stationary. And the men every five minutes is like a little... Uh, buzzer that goes off or whatever and the men move from one woman to the next and you guys kind of interview each other for five minutes and until you get to the last girl uh, then you're done so what do you, when you like interview people yeah, what, what's going on what are you asking yeah. these girls well I mean it's like it, it's standard I mean unless you're going to spice it up and you know what you're doing you know hi what's your name where you're from swing clubs bro uh, what do you do uh, what is he I'm sorry Ten ten men, they swap <laughs> and, what the fuck? It's like it's like a it's a meeting. You so organize this through your website, I'm right? Asking oh, my business partner. So your business partner. What's yeah. the name of the whole It's system? uh it's actually called weekenddating.com. And Are you uh, present when this is going on in the, in the rooms? Huh? Sometimes he is, right? That's why. Are you present? Are you present? Yeah, you know, yeah sometimes they go there. You didn't supervise this last they, one. They, you know, they raffle me off, you know, have a free consultation <laughs> or whatever. They give, you give away free stuff, yeah. free, free services yeah, with these absolutely. people. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, you know, I, I just called up Pete and I said, listen, you know, they need a guy. You want to go down there? And he was a little hesitant at first. And uh, I said, just go for it, man. This is what you need. I understand Pete left with three girls. Not one, but three. Uh, we should that, probably get him over here. When's the next clip? I want to hold it. I got to go. That oh, is. Now you're interested. <laughs> now you're interested. Yeah. I'm you just not, put him down I'm before. Not, I'm not, look, I'm not interested for the, 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 the women. I want to see what goes on there. That's all. I'm interested. Like, is he too old? No, He's they did. They have different age ranges. I'm only fucking thirty-eight, man. I, I'm not that old. <laughs> Listen, I, when's your next class, man? Now you want to go? 
I'm interested. You just put him down. You told me that if you ever saw someone with shoes like his, you'd, you'd walk right out of the room. He's jealous. Yeah, of course he is. Look, of course he is. First of all, I don't First of all, you look at the I, devil. I, he looks like God. I, I'm not at the guys that don't wear shoes with no socks. That turns me off, all right? Come on. You, let me see your shoes. Put your shoes up on the table. Show you. Hey. I, thought he, I thought he was wearing like big cowboys. What do you like about the shoes? Jesus Christ. Ah, nothing. Ah. nothing, man. They're fine. His shoes are. I would buy them in a minute. You want to go to the class, though, now? I want to go to the class. Right, so, what, what, how do you get into these classes? How often do you hold them? Uh, Jay holds them pretty much every week. Again, it's weekenddating.com. His partner. Uh, my he business partner. He's the guy that owns sorry. it. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't hear Jay. I didn't hear. Yeah. those who feel enough is not enough and failure is not an option. For those, there's Gamma Labs pre-training formula, the next generation pre-workout supplement, a human enhancement formula designed to build a superior athlete. More power, more speed, more endurance, more mental focus, more of you. Products champion original thinking and carries that thought process to its logical conclusion in the form of unique supplements that strictly adhere to the core nutritional principles of Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. Visit SpeciesNutrition.com to purchase the next generation of high quality supplements available today that fully adhere to the theory of natural selection which insists that only the fit survive. SpeciesNutrition.com this is the Heavy Muscle Show. With your host, Dave Palumbo. This is eight-time Mr. Olympia, Lee Haney, and you're listening to rxmuscle.com. Let's, let's get Pete over here. Can we, Pete, come sit over here. Right, he doesn't now, know we're talking about a guy here that uh, had a lot of insecurities like I did. And I mean, basically has trouble and has had trouble just talking to anybody. But he's probably um, the best looking guy in the room. Yes, the but if you don't talk, women aren't just, you know, about looks, right. you know, proactive. they, they, they fall in love with their ears, how it's you behave, how you talk, how you dress. So what did you say? You ain't got to say let's anything. All right, let's, let's let Pete talk Give me the fucking advice over so there. He, he does so talk. talk. He has this. up. Pull it out. That's it. What happened at this, at this uh, actually, speed date? That's the advice you'll probably get all year. That's Jimmy, it. Jimmy, pipe down, Jimmy. I want to talk. All right, so basically Jeff called me up in the morning. He said that they were speed dating that night. And I didn't really want to go at first, but he told me go practice. He's very, he's very, uh, yeah. So I figured, you know what, what, why not? I'm not doing anything. So I showed up there. He said he might come. So I didn't know if he was going to be there or not. I ended up showing up by myself. Uh, Were you intimidated when you realized that you got there? It's a funny story because I got there. He told me the place. I looked in the window when I got there. And I see all old people in there. Nobody oh, young. Like Jimmy's age. No, no, no. Like 60, 70 years old. You're right behind me. <laughs> and no, I, thought, I thought he was playing a joke oh, on me for a second because I'm like, there's nobody here that's my age. It's supposed to be my oh, age. No. So, so how old were you? I, I didn't hear. I'm sorry. I got it. I looked in the window and saw old people 60, 70. Wow. I went in Did and then money? found out that it's in a separate room in the back and that they were my age. Oh, so I, I went in. What were they doing in the first one, square dancing? <laughs> what were they doing when you they were in the dinner. fucking window? What were no, the no, 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 this was at a restaurant. Oh, so, so it wasn't even a restaurant. It was a restaurant. They were hosting it at a restaurant. What was it, a Denny's? Because they were all like 60, 70 years old or something like that? Well, what restaurant was this? I don't even know the name. Was it, was it Max's? Is it no, Jeff could probably. Jeff, what was the name of the restaurant? I have no idea. Well, yeah, Oasis Diner. See, so you get in there, there's five girls. girls. So there's, there's, about there's about, ten, there's about ten girls. I was late, I like so the they details. were about to start. That's why I'm asking questions. You know. Were there any good-looking good girls? There was three good-looking girls. Right. The ones three so you all left All three of them left with me, yeah. Yeah. And um, They left with you? Yeah. 
<laughs> Everybody else impressed? left. It, it's impressed. not that's not how the speed dating works. You're supposed to get their their email and contact them. After but you were all fucked all three. You violated all the rules. So you went yeah. beyond everything. You were banging all you banged all three of them. Tree, and, all tree. Yeah, and you had a wonderful night, and no, uh, you, didn't get you never exchanged. We hear what he has to say. You don't even know his fucking name. Right That's right. Pull it I, out. I got respect Pull for him. Now. You're not letting him Project talk. Project your though. voice. Project your voice. Pull it right, back. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy. So let me finish the story. So, I I, I want to know how you left with three women. What did you do? I went in. And they're all sitting around. You get a number. You sit at the table, and then you start. You go five minutes with each person. It's basically a five-minute. What do you say to these girls in that five okay. minutes? Now, I was actually I was. What do you mean a number? I don't understand. What do you mean you get a number? <laughs> Why Let do you need all the fucking talk. details? <laughs> he said you get a yeah. number. What fucking number? number? I don't know. You just said the number to interrupt. <laughs> just <laughs> sit there and shut the fuck up. I'm trying to understand. Look, I'm getting old. I need to understand the story. He's talking about his father, and he got his number. He's got to stop the story every three minutes. I just want to know what number. What is it? What is the number? Was it a red thing? I got that sucker deli county you pulled the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What number? Deli Somebody hand you a number. Deli number. Oh, the, the, what happened? How'd you get a number? That's what I want. Jimmy, here, write down your questions. That's <laughs> that's right. Thank you. I, that's what I do because I have ADD and I'm not kidding. Guys, <laughs> okay. you were just scolded by the dating coach. I want you to know. The guy with the white shoes. I ain't writing down nothing. I asked him a fucking question. How did you get the number? That's all. Okay. Simple question. They give use a system just to rotate everybody so everybody sees each other once and that's it. I so when you rotate, what do you mean? Like you suck your battle shit. Shut the fuck up. You rotate. Like, like, what do you mean you rotate? You yeah. go from one table. One girl to the other. With a girl. That's what I'm asking. That's all right. That's yeah. it. Are you sure the show's not rated Yes, I think you are. I'm asking, what's rotate mean? Like, the girl stays still, right? They ring a bell. Jeremy gets it. The guy goes to, you know. Are you retarded? You must be retarded. I want to know what rotate means. What is that? What does it that mean? It means to move from person to person. I know what rotate means. What does that mean? Like when you walk up to each individual chick no, 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 and you introduce Jimmy, yourself? Jimmy, Jimmy. I, sit there for five minutes. I'm very confused. I'm trying to imagine the situation. That's not anything. I'm not asking anything out of, uh, out of the way here. I'm just trying to fucking. You had way too much Jagermeister. I tried to picture the fucking room and the girl sitting in the chair and he's getting number 1A. What happened? Each now? girl is sitting at, at a chair and a table. All right. 1A. What happens? One, one guy gets up, moves to the next one after five minutes. Then goes to the next girl and the next and each guy goes the girls stay stay at the same table so do you get it okay so he's moving around yes right. to right. the next Thank girl you. to the next right. girl Look, can to we the go next... on to the next part of the story yeah alright okay so before we actually went in I was speaking to a lot of the other guys because uh, you wanted to know what, what you talk about and I was uh, you know I spoke to some of the guys that because a lot of these guys do this like every weekend but they're experts so I, I asked the guys you know how does this go and everything and one guy was telling me you know he's like I write a list of like questions that I asked them stuff like that and I right away was to me a little it guy? seemed there was a little guy. Was that the one that said that to you? I think it was. Vinny? You had a midget there? A little yeah. tight. So you, uh, bald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. worked with him. Were the guys who were there ugly guys? Well, you know, a lot of the guys that were there were older than me. The, the age group was, I think it was 23 to 36. Most mm -hmm. of them were on the older uh, mm -hmm. range of that. And like, okay, can I interrupt really, for a minute? Yeah. What, what, like when you said you had, you wrote down questions. Like, <laughs> no, no, I didn't write down questions. He didn't, didn't, write, down questions. Questions. Story. Story. He didn't write down a goddamn question. He said you wrote down a goddamn question. He said you wrote down a goddamn question. You you this is like the Jerry Springer, is like the Jerry Springer show. Do you like it behind or on top? Right? What, like, what questions you do you write down when you What do you say? How old is your grandmother? Like, what do you do with these things? I want to know what kind of fucking questions now. I'm asking a fucking legit question. I'm going to tell you. If you're going to do this, man, you got to do it right. If you're going to yell at him, let's go Jerry Springer style. Whoa, baby. He's dressing me now. There you go. All right, now you can yell at him. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Tell the story. All right, so we were fucking Dracula. I didn't write any questions down. I spoke to one guy. He said that he goes every weekend, so he writes down questions in case he like stalls out. He has nothing to say. Did you write questions? No, I didn't write any All questions. All right, what did you ask I, the I girls? Just That's all you wrote no, no, I didn't ask the girls anything. That was part of the whole thing. I wasn't there interviewing them like every other guy was. So what did you do? That's what the guys do. I went in there. I started joking around. I talked about the situation, everything, just having fun talking to like five what? minutes. What? I told you the girl. Story. Now you want to know? I, I'm trying to get the story. You won't. You worry about rotating. You worry about rotating. I want to get the story. Ask so why. What kind You're of question? You're asking about musical chairs. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Finish the story. I was just just having fun with them because every other guy basically in there is in there interviewing them. Like I even asked the guy. He said some of his questions where he would ask girls like. What is your best quality? What do you do? It's just boring after a while, you know? So what would you ask? So I didn't ask anything. I went in there. I told him the story. I basically said, you know, my friend told me to come. I came here. 
I saw old people in here, and you know they, they laugh at stuff like that because every guy that walked up to them before them asked them, "What do you do?" And, you know, one girl asked me, "What do I do?" I so you pretend like you didn't give a shit. I, I the thing is, I really didn't give a shit by that right. time. You know, normally I would, but just working with Jeff and like. So Jeff, what was your advice to him before he went in there? This is what we need to know. Spice it up. It doesn't take that much to stand out. Most guys walk what did around you tell him to, What did you tell him to wear? Um, we you actually didn't get into that. Nothing. So you just told him to show up? Just to show up. What kind of coach are you? What, you didn't go with any advice? Him and I have been working together, you know, for about two months now. He had it in his head, and it all snapped for him that night. Now, now how did you actually leave with the women? How did that work out? Well, I met all three of them, found out each of them were friends. I could tell all three of them were interested in me. Right. And... After it was over, one of them actually called me back. So then all her friends, the, the friends saw us talking. They right. all came. They wanted to be part of it. Oh, yo. You, you want to ask some questions now? <laughs> now you can ask questions. I actually wrote down some questions for his lady. So next time he goes, you'll give him the list. I want him to ask these questions. All right. Yeah. 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 Jimmy, we made you a list. Okay. Just read a couple out for me, please. Read them. Do you have a tight hole? <laughs> you think, Jeff, would that be a good so question to ask? Look, uh, you're at one of these events, yeah, you gotta so know you've had you're sex with her 50 times. Right, so that's not an appropriate question to ask. Of course it is. What's the other question? What's the other one? Do you like to suck cock? <laughs> Probably not a good question either. I, I think it's very Jeff. good. Look, you gotta be up front when you go to these fucking... We have, we these have fucking some events. women on the panel who are gonna be coming on after the commercial break. Uh, wait, one of them we've wait, seen wait, before. Wait, 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 I'm gonna ask them. Wait, he's got one more question. I ask it. Go ahead. What's the other what question? Can I bang you in your ass? <laughs> Probably not the best question, but who knows? We'll find I out. Love it, man. We'll find out I if these are appropriate questions when we'll get back ass. in two minutes. Thanks for watching the Heavy Muscle Show on RxMuscle.com.